everybody. Welcome to the Animal Park at the Conservator Center. We're going to take you on a little behind the scenes tour uh, just to take a look at how we are functioning during the COVID-19 pandemic. So without being able to have our public tours here, the animals uh, are definitely getting a little bit less attention than they're used to. Thankfully, our staff is committed to their behavior and their health. Uh, so what we're doing to protect the animals is wearing masks and covering our hands in gloves. Uh, the mask that I am wearing right now was actually made out of autoclave material and donated by one of our local veterinarians. So thankfully, uh, as we are an all-weather facility, the keepers have had to wear face masks around the animals just to be able to protect ourselves from the cold or any kind of nasty wind. So the animals have been pretty well desensitized. I wouldn't say that they are totally used to it and they don't love it. Uh, they do use a lot of facial cues to be able to kind of communicate with us. Thankfully, within our team we're really well trained and we know to kind of be ready for that. And the bigger thing for us to be able to show them is more our eyes and our attitude. Uh, and we just make sure to take our time and either use it as a training tool or change our husbandry so that the animal stays as comfortable as possible. Being behavior specialists, we are able to actually share space with our wolf pups. They just turned a year old about a week, maybe two weeks ago, and we've been with them since they were about eight weeks old. So the bubble bath that we're providing them with kind of provides a lot of different stimulus. Our Northwestern wolves are very interested in water in general, so anytime that we can make that water a little bit more exciting is going to give them something else to think about within their environment. By adding something as simple as bubbles, now they can't really see the bottom of the pool. It adds another texture, another smell, and just a general complexity to their environment. Something that they don't engage with every single day makes it so that it's a little bit more interesting when we do provide it for them. One of our large concerns here, of course, is how long this quarantine is going to last. Um, making sure that we keep track of things like our supply chain, the animal health, keeping our veterinarians up to date on everything that's going on. We've been kind of limiting how many resources we are using at a time to ensure that we can use them for as long as possible. Thankfully, as a small nonprofit, we are still able to keep all of our paid staff employed right now, but everybody is doing things that are a little bit outside of their normal task regiment. Um, they're helping out in construction more, they're helping out in animal care when they can. More of our social animals may get a little bit more needy if they are just used to seeing the same people over and over again. So changing how we engage with the animals, maybe taking our lunch break with them, taking a book out to read. The longer that this goes on, it's basically just the more creative that we're gonna have to become. So as you can see, we provide the animals the choice and control to be a part of their therapy. So while I had the light on Lena for just a quick moment to see how she felt, she left the area and I didn't follow after her. Versus Oz, who if you do anything that's on the ground, he just wants to be a part of your life. And he doesn't even really notice that there's a light or any kind of therapy or anything happening on his back end. Careful. Now he wants to say I love you, or pee on me. Yeah. I want to thank you all for joining us today on our little behind the scenes tour. We cannot wait to have visitors be able to come back on grounds and join us for a real tour here with us and with the animals. In the meantime, if you have anything to spare, we are so grateful for any kind of donation. You can find a lot of our options on our website, animalparknc.org. You can also follow us on social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even some really cute videos on TikTok. If you have time to reach out to any of your local institutions as well, we are all in this together.